All right, and we are live. Good evening po sa inyong lahat mga kaguro. And of course, welcome back to Gurong Pinoy. Hello po sa lahat ng members ng Team Bruner. Of course, these are our babies for March 2023. Those who will be taking their let no, in March 2023 under the new TOS. Good evening sa lahat ng mga members ng Team Bruner. At ganun din sa mga new members natin, mga newbies natin. Kakatune in pa lamang. No, if this is the first time you're watching us, you are watching Gurong Pinoy. And please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's so many videos there that can help you pass the let. Ganon din po sa ating Facebook page. Make sure that you are following our Facebook page so that you can leave a comment. At sa ating namang YouTube channel, make sure that you are a subscriber so that you can also leave a comment and you can join in our discussion. Now, our Team Bruner Section A is about to be closed. No? Malapit na po mapuno ang ating Section A and we are going to be opening Section B very, very soon. Okay? So, ang Section A natin, ilang slots na lamang po. So, paunahan na lang. So, magpapa member pa sa section A and of course we will be opening section B might be tomorrow or on Monday okay so again section B will be re will be open no by Monday or maybe by tomorrow kapag ka napuno na yung section A and again we are limiting our sections to just two sections uh, for March 2023 because of course you know as uh, if if you have more kids then your attention would also get more divided okay so para mas maalagaan lahat ng mga members ng team Bruner we will only be limiting our sections to just two sections section A and section B and so again hurry up no we only have very few a few slots no uh limited slots lamang tayo so magpa-member na po kayo and I'm I'm pretty sure you are not going to uh, have any regrets if you become a member of Team Bruner. Now, we also are going to start our major ship schedule tomorrow na yung ating uh, orientation tomorrow for Filipino, MAPE, Social Science, TLE, and AFA. If you are a member of our major ship groups, your major ship groups are going to have some postings na may mga announcements po sa ating major ship group. Sa Filipino, meron na tayong announcement kanina and the rest of our major ship, magkakaroon po ng mga announcement as to uh, how you can watch our orientation and what are some of the things that you need to prepare for. Your coaches are of course going to discuss the new TOS, kung ano-ano yung mga competency na inyong makikita sa inyong major ship, of course. And for Sunday naman, we are going to have English, Math, and Science. Now, as you can see, hindi lamang isa, dalawa, or tatlo, tatlong beses kayo mag-meet sa ating major ship. We also have our diagnostic test, my pre-board, and of course, my final coaching, no? Our memberships are only one-time payment. Wala na pong hidden fees. Dire, diretso. Until the day that you take the let in March, there's only one-time membership fee. Now, so magpa-member na po kayo, Team Bruner, that's Janet and Profit. And of course, for our major ship, you can see the schedules on our screen. So again, if you'd want to become a member of any of these groups, just send a message to our Facebook page. That is Gurung Pinoy. Now, tonight's discussion is centered on general education still under the new TOS, but of course, let us all have our opening prayer. So, sumahan niyo po ako mga kaguro. Dear Lord, I come to you to ask for your guidance and direction in this study session. I ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with strength, creativity, and understanding to get through my studies without difficulty or sin. Help me hold my focus and attention. Help me to retain all that I learned. Please make my mind sharp and keep distractions at bay. If any part of my studying is weak or lacking in some way, let it be revealed so that I may correct it. Thank you for this opportunity to learn. Amen. All right. Now, once again, this is general education. Please do like, love, share our video, start a watch party, and of course, tag your friends. You can also support us by sending us stars on Facebook and Super Chat Super Stickers naman po dyan sa ating YouTube channel. Now, while waiting for the rest of you to share our video, uh, maraming salamat, Mama Ristela, Saison Kilato, no, for sending us stars. Ganun din kay Sir Anreb or Ma'am Anreb Canonigo Pacas. Maraming salamat po for sending us stars. Again, thank you so much to all our star senders. Sir Elviso Lumahog, maraming salamat for your kind words. Recommended online review. Sobrang galing ni Ma'am Mex Saison na naay. Sulit bayad niyo, promise. Okay, maraming salamat po. And again, humabol na po kayo. No? Pwede pa po kayong humabol. For uh, our team Bruner, yes ma'am, Jero Osomre, po pwede pa po kayo humabol magpa-member sa ating team Bruner. Okay? Um, 
Okay, now, yes, for any of your questions, just send a message to ating pong Facebook page. Maraming salamat to all of you who've already shared our video, have already tagged your friends, have already started a watch party. Again, you can also support us by sending us stars and also by uh, sending us super chat, super stickers naman sa ating YouTube. Again, please do like, love, and napaka-importante po that you are sharing our video. Paki-share po ng ating video or start ng watch party. It's uh, para po... Um, mas marami tayong matulungang mga kaguro. Okay, general education, we start with question number one. Okay, number one, exchange rate system was all based on the value of gold, but it was replaced by a currency which is determined by their cost relative to other currencies. Is this letter A, dollar, letter B, fiat, letter C, silver, or letter D, peso? Okay, what is our choice for... Question number one. Uh, Ma'am, Al uh, Sir Alcidro Pasos, yes po, available po sa... Yung tanong ni Sir, papaano kung hindi maka-attend ng orientation bukas, available po ba yung video? Yes po. Um, your video, the video of your orientation will also be posted in your groups. Okay, 1A. All right, a lot of you are saying letter A. Okay, we've talked about this last Wednesday. No, meron tayong uh, pinag-usapang Bretton Woods last Wednesday. Kung saan yung correct choice dito is letter A, dollar, yung naging uh, determination no, kung gaano kalakas yung other currencies. Kaya yung dollar, yung exchange rate ng dollar and peso, yung ating tinitingnan kapag ka, uh, we want to find out whether malakas yung piso or mahina yung piso. No? So, dolyar po. Ang ating batayan, it's letter A, dollar. Now, what about this uh, letter B, no? silver and peso? Of course, these are common terms. But what about your fiat? Okay, now fiat money uh, or from Latin fiat, no? which means let it be done, is a type of currency that is not backed by any commodity. So some examples of this would be gold or silver. It is typically designated by the issuing government to be like to be your legal tender, no? So uh, hindi po siya currency ko baga na talagang ginagamit natin, pero designated siya by um, an issuing government. Okay, so gold and silver are examples of your fiat money. Okay, but our correct choice is letter A dollar for number one. We move on with question number two. Established in 1960 by Kuwait, Iran, Iraq. Saudi Arabia and Venezuela to regulate the production and sale of oil. Is this letter A, gas associations, letter B, OPEC, letter C, IMF, or letter D, the UN? We've also talked about this last Wednesday. Hello, good evening sa ating mga Team Piaget Babies na nakikinood pa rin, no? waiting for the results. Ma'am April si Dion, good evening po. Okay, future LPTs natin. Okay, I see a lot of letter Bs sa ating comment box. Tumpa kaya or ligwak ang letter B? Mm -hmm. Again, wag pong kalimutang mag-start ng watch party and of course, tag your friends. Okay, and uh, share our video. All right, letter B for number two, and that is correct, okay? So this is the OPEC. Again, we've mentioned this. We've talked about this last Wednesday. So if you are going to become a member, a new member of Team Bruner, po pwede nyo pa rin pong mabalikan lahat ng ating videos so since nagsimula tayo ng October 17th, yung pinakauna nating drill. Okay, so letter B, OPEC, is the correct choice. Remember, the OPEC is the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, which is an inter governmental organization of 13 countries. It was founded on the 14th of September 1960 in Baghdad by the first five members, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, and Venezuela. It has since uh, 1965 been headquartered in Vienna, Austria, although Austria is not a member of the OPEC. Okay, now what about your IMF and the UN? We've also talked about this last Wednesday, pero balikan natin for the benefit of those who have just tuned in. Your International Monetary Fund is an international organization that promotes global economic growth and financial stability. It encourages international trade, and of course, it reduces poverty. Ito na yung last resort niyo yung 
uh, po pwede kang umutang sa kanila. That's the IMF. Then of course, you have the UN, an intergovernmental organization whose stated purposes are to maintain international peace and security, develop friendly relations among nations, achieve international cooperation, and be a center for harmonizing the actions of nations. It is the world's largest and most familiar international organization. Okay, that's the UN. But of course, we are looking for letter B, the OPEC, for question number two. Number three. Most widely known defense grouping formed during the Cold War when several Western European countries plus the United States agreed to protect Europe against the threat of the Soviet, the, the Soviet Union. This is letter A, NAM, letter B, ASEAN, letter C, NATO, or letter D, GATT. Okay, what is our choice, Facebook user? Okay, if wala pong nagre-reply sa inyo, pakihintay lamang po, no? Um, out of office hours na, pero minsan babalikan ni, ni admin, okay? So, just wait for our admin's uh, reply or response. Okay, letter C. Mm -hmm. Tumpa kaya ang letter C. Okay, basahin ko lamang Sir Elviso Lumahog. Tim Bruner, last September... Uh, nagwawala si Rizal sa Gen Ed. Please pay attention po sa review ng Gurung Pinoy. Daming lumalabas. Okay, marami salamat again, Sir El Cidro. Um, okay. Sir El Cidro, I have already answered your question. Babalikan po yung inyong orientation video kung sakali mang hindi po kayo makaten. All right, number three, a lot of letter C's, and that is correct. Now, that's the NATO or the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, also called the North, uh, North Atlantic Alliance, which is an intergovernmental military alliance between 30 member states, of which 28 are in Europe, and the other two in North America. Okay, so that would be uh, letter C, NATO. Okay, what about your NAM, ASEAN, and GATT, of, although we've already... Discussed uh, the ASEAN then last Wednesday, no? and also GATT. Okay, the NAM is the non-aligned or non-aligned movement was created to pursue world peace and international cooperation, human rights, natural sovereignty, racial and national equality, non-intervention, and peaceful conflict resolution. After the United, States, uh, United Nations, the NAM is the largest grouping of states worldwide. No? So remember, we've talked about the United, uh, United not the United States, no? United Nations being the largest uh, grouping of states worldwide. And after that, after your UN, yung kasunod na po would be your NAM. No? So yung ibig sabihin ng NAM or non-aligned movement, alaw, ayaw nila makisangkot sa gulo. No? So they don't want to intervene. Non-intervention is one of their beliefs. No? And peaceful conflict resolution. Wala sila pinapanigan kapag ka merong nag-aaway. No? So that's the NAM or non-aligned movement. Now the ASEAN, uh, this, of course, is the Association of Southeast Asian Nations Political and Economic Union of 10 member states in Southeast Asia, which promotes intergovernmental cooperation and facilitates economic, political security, military, educational, and social, cultural integration between its members and countries in the Asia Pacific. Of course, the Philippines is one of the members of the ASEAN. This is the General Agreement, agreement on Tariffs and Trade which is a legal agreement between many countries whose overall purpose was to promote international trade by reducing or eliminating trade barriers. No? So, um, yung tariffs mo, yung quotas mo ay inaalis or nire-reduce para mas maganda yung um, pakikipagkalakal between the different countries. That's your GATT. Okay, so the correct choice again is letter C, NATO. We go to number four. Created by presidents of Egypt, Ghana, India, Indonesia, and Yugoslavia in 1961 to pursue world peace and international cooperation, human rights, national sovereignty, racial and national equality, non-intervention, and peaceful conflict resolution. Alam nyo na to, no? Uh, we've just mentioned this a while ago. Okay, letter A, NAM, letter B, G, A, T, T, letter C, NATO, or letter D, the IMF. 
Ayan. Ang yayabang nyo kapag ka ganito, di ba? Ang bibili sumagot. All right, now we have just uh, discussed this, no? Just um, an item ago. And of course, you know that letter A, NAM, is the correct choice. Okay, so NAM is the correct choice. That's non-intervention and peaceful conflict resolution. We move on with question number five. Created because of these ideas to emphasize the need to form common international principle by Kant, enshrine principles of cooperation and respect among nation states by Mazzini, democracy and self-determination by Wilson. Is this letter A, United Nations in 1946, letter B, Westphalia in 1648, letter C, Bretton Woods 1944, or letter D, GATT 1947? Okay, what is our choice for number five? Okay, so sabi dito, the need to form common international principle, cooperation, respect, democracy, and self-determination. Okay, the correct choice, of course, would be letter A, the United Nations. So, United Nations, kakatapos ng, ng United Nations celebration okay, ng, ng October. Okay, so we've all celebrated the UN last October. Okay, so United Nations, ang ating tumpak na choice. Bretton Woods, uh, we've talked about this before. And sabi ng Bretton Woods, the dollar would be the basis of the strength or the weakness of other currencies. Yan yung Bretton Woods. It was named Bretton Woods, of course, because it was named um, after the location of the meeting. No? Yung G80, we've just talked about this a while ago. This is on tariffs and trades. No? And so, um, letter B, Westphalia, in 1648, the Peace of Westphalia, uh, European Settlements of 1648, ended the 80 Years' War between Spain and the Dutch, and the German phase of the 30 Years' War. Okay, so uh, it essentially ended two wars. Okay, so 80 Years' War between Spain and the Dutch, and 30 Years' War during the German phase. Okay. So that would be letter A for five. Number six, after the World War II, which emerged as new powers, letter A, United States of America and Soviet Union or USSR. Letter B, People's Republic of China and the United States of America. Letter C, South Korea and Soviet Union. Or letter D, Germany and Soviet Union. Okay, what is our choice? The question is after the World War II, which emerged as the new powers? Okay, I see a lot of letter A's. And tumpak po yung letter A. Now, that's the UN, uh, the, not the UN, uh, US, US, your USSR. Okay, so these two emerge as the new powers. No? So, sa yung pangideliderang sa group ng mga countries na nag-away-away during the World War II and eventually, after the war, these two emerged as new powers. Now, uh, sa ngayon, no, medyo malakas, pinakamalakas yata, if not isa sa mga malalakas na mga bansa would be China. No? We all know, before, when we were in elementary, high school, tawag natin sa China was the sleeping giant. Ngayon, buhay na buhay na, no? Gising na gising na yung China. Okay? So, letter A po for number six. We go to number seven. In whose presidency was the famous miracle rice produced? This was question of the day today. Is it letter A, Fidel Ramos? Letter B, Sergio Osmeña? Letter C, Ferdinand Marcos? Or letter D, Joseph Estrada? Okay? Kanino nagsimula ang miracle rice? Mm-hmm. I see letter C. Okay, letter C. And that is correct. No, tama yung letter C. You all know that uh, the ERI, no, the International Rice Research Institute, also started during uh, the term of former President Ferdinand Marcos Sr. And so during that time, the ERI designed new varieties of rice such as ER, uh, or IR8, or Miracle Rice, which basically tripled rice yields. Mas maraming ani, no? Triple yung ani. Kaya nga po, tinatawag na uh, Miracle Rice, okay? Now, Fidel Ramos, of course, is known for his uh, Philippines 2000, yung economic progress, economic plan for Philippines 2000. Joseph Estrada, of course, um, 
he was known for weather weather lang no so kay kay Erap yung uh, weather weather lang he was um the first president to be impeached no although hindi siya hindi siya napatalsik dahil sa impeachment dahil din sa pag-aaka sa mga tao which was people power too and of course Sergio Osmeña naman together with Rojas they were the ones who represented the country for Mission Osrox. Now, this was after the Commonwealth or during the Commonwealth period. Uh, ginusto nila na maging fully independent yung Pilipinas. And so, Osmeña and Rojas went to the States and fought for the freedom of our country. It was called Mission Osrox. And of course, they were successful. Okay? And so, the correct choice would be letter C, Ferdinand Marcos. Ito ba yung Milagrosa na Rice? Hindi ko po alam na wala akong ideya. Sir Kibs Tanlawan, kung sino mang merong ideya kung ito daw yung Milagrosa na Rice, yung kilala ko lamang si Princess Bea at si Jasmine, no? marami pang ibang varieties ng rice. Okay, now um, kung inyong napapansin no, uh, from 1 to 7 social science or social studies yung ating items, now as you know sa ating new TOS, yung math, yung inyong science yung inyong English and Filipino halos parehas yung number of items pero yung social science mo dinagdagan no, yung result, pinaso contemporary world, pinaso eh, mas marami yung magiging items sa social science sa inyong upcoming the licensure exam for teachers next year. Okay? So, marami. Marami tayong magiging uh, soft sign na items. Alright, we go to number eight. A UNESCO World Heritage Site in Ilocos Norte is blank. Letter A. Bangui or Bangui, no? Bangui Windmills. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Pawai Church, that's letter B. Pagudpod, letter C. Or Kurimao Rock Formations for letter D. Okay, what is our choice for number eight? Hello po, good evening sa lahat ng mga taga Ilocos Norte. How do you say good evening sa Ilocos Norte? Mm -hmm. All right, I see a lot of Bs. Meron ding A. Aha, nag-aagaw, B or A. Okay, sino kaya ang tumpak sa dalawa? Mm-hmm. Alright, again, good evening po um, sa lahat ng mga taga-ilocos. Okay, what is your choice? A lot of you are saying letter B at letter A. Na imbag nga rabi e. Sabi ni Ma'am Shane Estrada, na imbag nga rabi e. Okay, that's magandang gabi. Alright, the correct choice here is letter B, Pawai Church, no? Ang ating tumpak na choice. Now, this right here, Pawai Church, was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1993 as one of the Baroque-style churches in the Philippines. Okay? So, hindi po siya the windmills, pagudpod, or kurima rock for formations. Lahat po ito ay inyong nakikita sa Ilocos Norte. But of course, the one that is considered a UNESCO World Heritage is letter B. Okay? It is the church. All right, now lumalabas din po ito sa select no, anong ibig sabihin ng World Heritage Site? Kaya siya in-include natin dito. This is a natural or man-made site, area or structure recognized as being of outstanding international importance and therefore as deserving special protection. Okay, sites are nominated to and designated by the World Heritage Convention, which is an organization part of the UNESCO. Okay, so letter B is the correct choice. Hindi po letter A, no? Kasi marami din pumupunta sa windmills at medyo, at, and of course, famous din yung windmills. Okay, so medyo nalito tayo. But uh, of course, alam na natin na sa susunod, letter B po, Power Church, yung ating uh, magiging choice, not letter A, not the windmills. Okay? Uh, isa din sa mga UNESCO World Heritage Sites naman dito sa Iloilo would be another church, yung Miag Ao Church. Alright, we go to number nine. Which order of presidents correctly applies to Philippine history? One, Carlos P. Garcia. Two, Diosdado Makapagal. Three, Manuel Rojas. Number four, Ferdinand Marcos. Letter A, four, three, two, one. Letter B, one, two, three, four. Letter C, four, two, one, three. Or letter D, Three, one, two, four. What is our choice for question number nine? Thank you for all of you who've already started watch parties. Maraming maraming salamat po. 
Again, please do not forget to share, no? Napaka-importante pong sinishare yung ating video. Thank you for all those who've already shared our video. And of course, you can support us by sending us stars sa Facebook, Super Chat, Super Seekers naman po sa ating YouTube channel. Okay, what's your choice? Number... Uh, nine. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Malu Absin Billiot for sending us stars. Ganun din kay Ma'am Ranili Almayda. Thank you so much po. Okay, number nine, I see these. Okay, now if you are going to look at the um, uh, sequence, no, yung order ng ating presidents, it would be this, no? So, ako, Lorco, MGM, Maria, ADM, no? Tandaan po yung ating acronym. Ako, Lorco, MGM, Maria, and ADM. So you have Aguinaldo, then Quezon, Laure Laurel, Osmeña, Rojas, Quirino, Magsaysay, Garcia, Makapagal, na just dado Makapagal, Marcos Sr. Then you have Aquino Corazon, Ramos, Estrada, Arroyo, Aquino the third. this is Noynoy, Duterte, and of course presently we have Marcos Jr. who is um, our... Uh, present president, okay? So the correct choice here would be letter D, no? So three, one, two, four. Na una si Rojas, ito po si Rojas. Then followed by Garcia right here. Then you have just... And lastly, you have Ferdinand Marcos. Kahit sino Marcos naman dito, huli, no? Order. All right, so letter D, choice for number nine. We go to the National Convention where the Philippines can validate its claim to the scrap lease and other territories in the West Philippine Sea is known as the blank. Letter A, United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea or UNCLOS. Letter B, the Kyoto Protocol. Letter C, Rio de Janeiro uh, Convention. Or letter D, letter D, Geneva or Geneva Convention. Okay, what is our choice? Uh, sa nagtatanong, no, if it is required for you to take a refresher course, hindi po required. Pero of course, it is recommended. Okay? If you can, magpa-member na lang po kayo sa Team Brunner. Huwag na po kayong mag-refresher, no? Dahil ganun pa rin, pa rin naman yung mangyayari. Review pa rin naman yung mangyayari. Aha. Uh -huh. What is your choice for number 10? Okay, malimit nating naririnig ito sa ating news, no? And so the correct choice here, of course, would be the UNCLOS, okay? United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Now, what about the rest of your choices? Uh, they are your Kyoto Protocol, very common question ito, very common item select. This is for adapting to the effects of climate change. No? That's your Kyoto, Kyoto Protocol. Your Rio de Janeiro Convention, Also, this was also called the Earth Summit. And this was for ecology and the environment. Geneva Convention naman was for the humanitarian treatment in war. It sought to control the effects of war on soldiers and civilians. And it also established the Red Cross emblem. Okay, so that's your Geneva Convention. Bawal barilin yung mga Red Cross. Na bawal barilin yung may mga, um, may mga sign ng media. And of course, the Red Cross. Okay, the correct choice is letter A. We go to number 11. One of the types of positive economics that collects and presents data that can describe life phenomena is letter A, growth, letter B, descriptive econ economics, letter C, stability, or letter D, economic theory. Okay, what is our choice for question number 11? Ma'am VJ Hermano or, or Sir VJ Hermano, maraming maraming salamat po for sending us stars. Okay, what is our choice for number 11? Number 11? Ano po kaya ang ating tumpak na choice for number 11? All right.